First of all, thank you for agreeing to do that. How did you decide what information to present in your poster? I wanted it to be as clear as possible because obviously when you're writing your thesis you're involved with a lot of words. I realized from experience of seeing other posters that people don't tend to read the, all the information that you put in it, so I wanted it to be quite a visual impact. So I kept the information that I put in terms of words very limited to very key things, my research questions and then key concepts that I value in my research, like memory identity and a little bit more so they can understand when I talk about specific things related to the photographs I have put in, that what it is that I, am, I mean referring back to the writing. Why did you choose this specific poster design? For clarity, I thought it was the easiest way to see and to present what I wanted to do, which was two different um, areas of my research and then the three levels of my research as it stands now. So they can see it as together as a whole or kind of like the two different areas and how the variation works in there. What was the hardest part of the preparation for the competition? The preparation, it was quite interesting. The harder part is always you want to put more than is actually physically possible and you start moving around a lot of information from one side to the other until you finally get what the poster has to look like because it doesn't, until you get on and do it, it doesn't matter how much planning goes before it, it never works as you had it planned. So the preparation of it was quite time consuming, the doing of the poster and kind of, it's quite fun to, to play around moving things around and images until you get it how you want it to look like. When you signed up for it, do you thought you could win actually any prizes or was it mainly for the experience? No, um, in fact I found out it was a competition on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> when you got the email, I didn't, I didn't realize it was a competition. I thought it was a great way to, to kind of like talk about my research with people that don't know much about archaeology because we are always talking to the specialists, to the people that always find interest in what we do because it's the same people. So it was quite, quite good to be able to talk to, to people from different disciplines and different ages and with very interesting questions that you don't get the opportunity to do. Do you have any tips for other postgraduate researchers who want to present at the next festival, for example? Yes, I will say do it because it's good fun. You meet a lot of very interesting people. The difference in research that is being done at the university at the moment is excellent and I think it's a really good opportunity to get to know the researchers that we normally don't get the opportunity to meet. Thank you very much. You're welcome.